Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. I'm doing your Oracle card guidance with you this week and I have the soul cards here, which I have the soul cards number one. And these are some of my favorite cards to use. Um, I use them personally. I find them extremely um, intuitive and always pouring of information. All right. Um, there was a, a complaint about the cards mirroring um, and I'm not able to change that here, but I will um, keep, I will have the cards separate for you to view while I am talking over them. Okay, so I hope that's okay for you. Um, there's the, can you go ahead please and choose between options one, two, and three as usual, and we'll get into the reading. All right, so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, oops, let's cut some cards falling out here already. Oh, that was interesting. It it came out earlier when I was, um, yeah, when I was um, shuffling the cards. I'm gonna just put it back. And there are a couple of other cards here that came out. So, oh yeah, I have a light right here beside me. Those I would be. You can't see me at all in this video because I have a backlight here. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and give this a shuffle again and we're going to choose a card for you. So uh, can you please give me a card for those of you who chose option number one. And there's a card that's come out for us. So for those of you who've chosen the first option, we have a card here which I feel is talking about being under the weight of something. It could be that you are anxious about the energy as it is at the moment. It could be that this full moon that we have today is um, almost has such a magnanimous energy that it's pushing you away. It could be that you're curious to look into something but you're not able to see it at this moment. Um, there's a feeling here that I'm getting of um, there being many layers to something. There's been, there are many layers to a particular truth and you need to find your way to that truth and you need to figure out what is the way forward. And the way to do that is to take some time out and uh, let yourself be led to that path. It's not going to necessarily come immediately. The, the answers that you see here are not necessarily going to come immediately. It might just come at some point in the future, at some point um, in the near future, but not before you go through certain trials or certain, it's like you're crossing certain boundaries or crossing certain rings. So you're going through these, these processes which are going to bring you closer to what it is that you are looking for. I feel here that there is a sense of having a um, having some kind of eagerness to move ahead but also being afraid to move ahead there's a sense of being of not being more willing to to uh, immerse yourself in what is awaiting you and there's a sense of of being afraid of what could be there's a sense of also looking at your situation as it is and and just choosing to be exactly where you are and not moving forward forward there's also a sense that uh, the full moon energies here will bring uh, conclusions to many things. I feel that this this shape here on this card is really talking very much about the full moon energies as well as uh, certain concentric circles that are uh, leading to a certain point, but also not just leading to a certain point, but also working its way, um, working its way, a kind of to a certain thing but also to a certain point and I feel like there's something here that it's not complete it's not necessarily complete you might want it to be complete you might hope that it'll be complete you might hope for those answers to be there readily but it will be some time before you get those answers and I feel like in about a month or two months you will have a lot more clarity about where you're heading to and how things are going to uh, unfold for you all right. I think also here there's a sense that um, there's a sense of being of just surrendering to the situation that you're in right now. There's a sense of being 
at one with yourself and not really wishing to move ahead or not really wishing to um, to change your circumstances. It's almost like you're quite comfortable where you are, but you're kind of curious about where you could lead, where you could go to or where you could be led to. I feel like you know, that um, as much as it might not be clear for you right now to to go ahead and as much as it might not be at this right moment that things will come together or move together, that you what you actually need to to move with and what you actually need to do right now is um is allow things to kind of unfold but be present with how it unfolds so be present with how it will unravel itself because what i feel is going to happen here is that it's actually it's actually going to be that there's going to be one moment where things are right to move ahead. And it's like you need to grasp that. It's almost like somebody's throwing you a, a line and you need to grasp that. And when you are able to do that and you're able to, to go with a flow of things, then things will work out okay. So this is almost like you're standing on the precipice. Things haven't happened as yet, but they're about to unfold. They're about to show them show itself and when it does show itself you need to be able to grasp on all right so i'm going to leave it at that i hope that has been a useful uh reading for you and i'm going to be moving on to the option number two i wish you all a blessed week ahead and i hope that you will be fine and wishing you much love many blessings and uh, um, yeah good health all right so i'm going to um go ahead for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? And this is the card that's come out. So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, what we have here is a sense of, um, it's almost a sense of being able to put yourself out there for the moment and being able to give what it is that you have and, and just simply wait for what comes again. It's almost like you need to put yourself out there and be vulnerable and just allow yourself to wash away any ideas of vanity, wash away any ideas of of um, putting yourself forth in a certain way so that it's acceptable for social media or for your CV or for whatever it is. There's a need for a certain amount of angst, a certain amount of, of uh, ex expression, of emotion to come through, to be able to filter through. And I feel like in order for that to happen, you need to, to be raw, to be able to, to show yourself as you are in the world right now. So if there's been a time in your life where you haven't been able to really show yourself as you are, if there's been a time in your life where you've had to pretend that you are a certain person but you've not been that person, or you've needed to kind of uh, create a facade, create a mask around you, or create a cloak around you in which you show the world because you've not been free to show the world how you really feel or what you really are, then I think that um, now is the time to be able to say, okay, well, I can take off that cloak and I'm going to take off that cloak and I want to see what comes from that. And it might not be an easy process. It might be a process where you feel quite raw, where you feel quite vulnerable and where you feel quite... Um, quite exposed, you know, and, and quite unprotected. But I feel that with that it's a necessary time for that to happen. I feel it's a necessary time for some of you to be able to uh, strip down to the core of what it is, what that is. It might be you exposing yourself in terms of your own personality, in terms of how you show yourself to the world. It could be something to do with a project that you're working on where you feel like, okay, you've been presenting it like this, but actually... It would be more real, more authentic if you present it in a slightly different way and if you get down to the roots of it. I want to say that what I'm seeing in this card is that 
I see you at peace, being able to be at one with yourself and all of your experiences, all the good and all the bad. And it all comes together as one. It all comes together and it's okay. It's okay. It's almost like it needs to be calibrated right now. And it feels to me like some past experiences that you might have had that might have stained your life, that might have uh, cast an aspersion upon your life, needs to just be left for the wayside. And it's still going to be a part of you. It's still going to be expressed through you and through what you've learned from that. But I think here that you have changed and you're a different person from that. And I think that this is something that you just have to go with the flow and and actually allow that to be a part of you. Allow this with who you are, with all your experiences, to come together to be an expression of who you are. And you don't need to go in there and um, strip it down and actually um, break it down, I mean, and 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 dismantle it and, um, you know, present it piece by piece. You don't need to do that. What you really need to do is just show the whole sum of who you are and in your entirety and how you feel about yourself. And where it is that you're at, you don't need to go and pinpick and tear apart your um, your 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 older experiences. I feel here that um, it's necessary, however, for you for yourself to honor that aspect of yourself, also that which you might feel ashamed of, or that of which you might not might not be so welcome in your community. Something of which you you might not want to offer, or you might want to offer somebody, but they might not want to receive it. And I feel here, if you have done that, if you have actually given some advice to somebody and they have not wanted to receive it, then I think that it's okay because you needed to say your piece. And that is what is important here. It's important to be authentic. It's important to come down to that level where you roar with yourself and to be able to um, to be one with yourself, regardless of how you, how you are and where you've come from and what experiences you've had but just to be one with yourself as you go forward and once again not to dismantle that of your past and bring that forward to the fore that is not what you are you are more than that all right so I'm going to leave it at that I hope that that has been a um, useful um, message for you this week and I hope that it's come across okay that I've been clear enough and I just want to say that there's much here with this card there's a lot here as it feels like you as you stand right now you're a complete calibration of your experiences and that's okay and there's that's all of you and that's as it's meant to be all right um, I'm gonna leave it there I hope that has been helpful as you go along and may you have a wonderful week ahead Many blessings to you all. all. Right. So for those of you who've chosen the third option here, we are asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? Sorry. <laughs> So this is the card that's come out for those of you who've chosen the option number three. So I don't know if you are having a bit of a turbulent time or if you're a bit confused about certain thoughts that you have or you have a bit of unsettledness around um, a particular area of your life or a particular aspect of something that's happened in your life where you're feeling a little bit um, hopeless, where you might be feeling like you don't have enough control over the situation, uh, you might feel like you might be losing the situation completely. You might be losing grip of the situation completely. And I think here there's a sense of, it feels to me that if you have to continue on this path, if you have to go with this path, there's almost like never ending. There's never, it never is going to end. It's never going to end. And I feel like what I need to say to you here, and might not apply to everyone, but 
feel into it and see if it applies to you. I think that what I have to say to you here is just retreat from this because it's going to be, if you immerse yourself into this or if you commit to this, what's going to happen is that you're always going to be running after that. You're always going to be trying to impose your will or trying to uh, make some suggestions or trying to give some advice or trying to help somebody or help the situation or trying to make something right. Whatever you're doing right now, it's not really going to work for you in the long term. And it's not going to work for anyone else either. Sorry, I've just shaken my computer. Um, and I think that what, what it's saying, what I'm hearing from this card is that you need to just like let go of what it is and let it be. You know, it's like an abyss. It's just going to keep falling and falling and falling and falling. There's no end to this. So you should just let, let go of it now and, and release yourself from this anguish. There's this anguish that's here. There's this hurt. There's this sadness. There's this anguish. There's this anger. There's this um, sense of hopelessness of, of kind of, um, I can't find the words right now, but, um, you know, like not being able to grasp on. I think here there's, a need to come out of the situation a bit from whatever situation you've been, wherever you've been spending your energy or letting your energy be lost or losing your energy, you need to step away from that and come closer to yourself, come closer to who you are, what you need, what your needs are. What, what do you need? You know, do you need a massage? Do you need to put some cream on your body? Do you need to comb your hair? Do you need to, um, you know, cream your skin? I don't know. Do you need to to, I just said that, right? But do you need to do something for you? Like, what is it that you can do for yourself right now that's going to restore you to yourself? Because what I feel here is that there's this sense of being separated from your, from what, from you. There's a sense of being separated from you and almost like looking after the needs of others. It might be the well-being of others. It might be for the greater good of others, but it's unappreciated or it's not unappreciated but it's unheard it's unheard it's un it's not heeded and then as a result of that it's kind of like you are kind of getting lost or not obsessed obsessed just too much but you're kind of quite focused on that and what you need to do is take a step back from that and bring yourself back to yourself it's like almost like you need to do an exercise where you bring your soul back into yourself and bring your yeah, just focus on what it is that you need right now and what it is. And I've just given you some superficial examples, but maybe what you need to do is just sit under the moonlight tonight and meditate uh, and hear what it is that you need or sit close to the earth and feel what the earth has to offer you or next to a body of water, if you prefer. I think here that there is a, in this, because you can see something, because you can relate to something before you because you can understand something what's happened is that you are giving up a lot of yourself in order for you to be able to transfer this information to be able to to share this information with somebody and and this is not heeded it's not welcomed it's not uh, taken in the spirit in which you have given it and it's not received in the spirit in which you've given it and as a result it's not really being um used it's being wasted in a way and so the best thing for you to do right now is to walk away from the situation and you for each of you individually you know what that situation is you just need to walk away from it and just be able to return to yourself because there's something that you need right now that you actually can benefit from which only you can give yourself and this is something that you're losing by actually um trying to do something else trying to be somewhere else for someone else. All right. So I'm going to leave it at that. I know that that's quite a specific inf uh, uh, message and maybe it doesn't apply to every one of you. If it does, then please go ahead and see if option number one or two applies for you. But there is something here where I feel like it's like you're drowning, you see? It's like you're drowning in this. Like you're trying to see what's going on and you're getting lost in it. And what you need to do is is extract yourself from that extract yourself from that come out of this eye in a way and look at the eye you don't have to go right deep in there because if you go right in there deep in there what's going to happen is you're going to get lost it's an abyss of sorts it's going to swallow you up and you're not going to be able to find your way out of it and i would say that the best thing to do right now is to walk towards yourself 
and walk away from whatever situation that is absorbing you to the point that you're losing yourself. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that has been useful. I hope that you have a lovely week ahead. I know that we are in the middle of the week, so until I next uh, come to you, I think that from this week onward, from Sunday onward, I might be able to bring you your weekly oracle guidance on Sunday. And um, yes, and then we'll we'll keep it like that for the weeks ahead. All right. Much love to you all. And yes, I haven't made any progress with regard to the uh, Rumble uh, or Locals account. Um, so I haven't, I just haven't had a chance to do any of that at all. But hopefully it will get there. Okay. Sending you much love and many, many blessings. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.